Like, where y'all living in a twin home? <laughs> Fuck. You ain't even got a whole home. You got a half a home. And you and you all have a side Trump 2020. If you don't get out of here, half a home ass. <laughs> was long tong wraps which we're going to make homemade pizza rolls and I got the little ones this time um, so they'll be like actual pizza rolls and then I got mozzarella sticks and pepperoni and then from Dollar Tree I got pizza sauce and then I got some gushers to put I don't know where they are but I got gushers to put chamoy and tahini on and then mama got here's some the here's the chamoy and then tahini. And then mama got some dynamite cream cheese, which is over here, and jalapeno. So, yeah, guys, that's all. <laughs> all right, she wanted to do a haul real quick. We got some more stuff, but that's just what she actually had. Trying to get us situated. Tommy showed me this little way to fold. Oh, our bags take Kroger. Mama, that's been for a while. Oh. I'm not folding no bags. Why do? And then you just, they're space savers, so I don't no longer have no bag drawer. I'm tired. I woke up at 5 o'clock this morning. I'm sleepy. I stayed up till 3. That brown looks really good on that shirt. And then, uh, so the gold probably, we messed up two pink sheets of gold. And then we messed up a pink. Um, like brown. Messed up pink, messed up koi koi. Yesterday just was not our day. The cricket mat that it's set on is bigger. It's a long one and we and it wouldn't let us change it. Y'all got a new cricket mat? Mm -mm. It was a mess. It wouldn't let us change it. And then we, we made one for Alyssa. What the, the little, yeah, and he said he is on the first try, but it was a little smaller. It but was, yeah, little. It was, um, I mean, but he got his done on the first try. I mean, it took us forever. All right, so then you do that, y'all, and then I have this for the, hold on. Man, right. where's the bag that you So I have this little basket that I stored in there. So I, it depends on how many I got, if I fold them all or not. Mm -hmm. right, where are we putting the Christmas mat? I'm putting in my Christmas stuff. I need to ready to get my fall stuff down. Fall gonna be over. It'll be two weeks. Well, we still going to paint together. Twenty-one minutes until I got close to my salt, and I'm gonna sign it. But yeah, you guys. So we're about to get. Well, I'm not, but. Why don't they put pepperonis in the refrigerator? They don't have to. Like beef jerky, I guess. Yeah, I got this from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to try it. Why are you it. smelling me? And see, I'm going to spray these burners and just let it sit on there and see. What happened to the bugs? Put some in the oven, too. You have to get rid of it. They had to get rid of it. Aww. They always don't know. I don't know if it's going like to work. But it was only a dollar. I'm not keeping them cheap Dollar Tree ones, though. You need to get your lashes out of here. Look, y'all. She puts she sticks in everything. In the carton in the container. And then we'll, John's about to fry some catfish. I hope we hurry up because I'm hungry. Sorry, she guys. Three point eight six pounds, and it was twenty six dollars and ninety eight cents. That's probably about two pieces a piece. So one for now and one for later. I'm about to make Texas Roadhouse rolls. And Heidi's about to make Texas Roadhouse rolls. And then I like getting these. Yeah, I buy these. From the Dollar Tree, they weapons too. So I'll show you what I do with them. Okay. okay, you guys. So this is what I do with these that I get from the Dollar Tree, and they are really nice, really heavy and thick. So I kind of stagger them inside of the shower. So kind of like affirmation stuff. So let's see if we can get this one up here. Up here. So like, so this one's out. So I'll probably. Staggered this one this way a little bit and so every morning when I'm in the shower I just make sure that I read them so now we have love and it just gives you color too I actually I could have 
Oh, y'all. Let me say, so what I'm about to do, I put it up there, but we're gonna mix it between all these whites to add some color. So I'm gonna take this one down and just lift it. Okay, I ain't gotta take them all down. You don't have to hang them up or anything. You could just sit them. The way I stagger, stagger them makes them just stay. So I just read those every day. Let me tell y'all what you're left with when you, yeah. So if you get these from Dollar Tree, one, how many I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And anytime I have a new one, I just keep on going. The Blessed and Highly Favorite was the one that I got whenever they had them last. So. Who did? Hey, make sure you cook. A he bought what on the table? He slapped the eggs on the table. Oh. It's just one egg. I need an egg for the rolls. Why he keep buying this? Oh, he don't need to keep buying I, something. I asked him that. I said, why do you buy every time we get fish? Oh, okay, I did see that. Okay, we got our two bags. Let me put my little bags back. I'm and then I want to clean, clean up then, girl. I want to show you. I got me this little tear tray. I added these lemons from the Dollar Target spot. I only got them because they were on sale. And this is um, Bath and Body Work soap mixed with another one because my last jars broke and this is just dishwashing liquid and then i have a plant and then for fall i added my old school pumpkin <laughs> to go in with the rest of the silver hey make sure you clean and wash that and everything before you get done okay you know it's your job to clean this mixer you ain't lie <laughs> hey what happened one egg was broken yes here that is Oh, yeah. It's broken. Oh, yeah. They have... We got a chocolate cake from the Dollar Tree. We got a um, chewy fudge brownie mix. It's a family size, too, for $1. What else did I get, y'all? My honey got some yeast because she's about to make Texas roll house. No, yeast rolls. is only 99 cents. Who bought grape juice? Here's some communion Maddie. juice. Maddie. <laughs> You know I need me a swig. And this came from Dollar Tree too, right? Do we have another Dollar Tree bag? Here's some Alpo. I just tried to clean it up over here, so. Hold on, y'all. If you have a picky little dog, he'll love Alpo. Clean it. I know I have a Cricut machine, so I'll be making sure. So I got Maddie this cute little maroon color shirt. I got me a water bottle. It needs to be washed. And you know, last year for Christmas, we did the buffalo check. So they had, um, some more light in here. They had some placemats. Okay, so I'm planning on taking these over here. I was only going to get four, but Makaya said, Why are you only getting four? When you got six. So, yeah. So I'm about to get ready to go put this little Christmas stuff. Because if I don't, I'm going to lose it and I ain't going to know where they are. And let's go see what else we got in the bag. Hey, Jai, you finna cook? My fish. Yes. Fish just needs to be rinsed. This Where are you going? I'm trying to clean up. Hurry up. Let me show you. Look at this fridge. And who's going to clean it? Makaya. It's a mess. There's a, don't forget we got to cook that roll of hamburger meat too. Half a roll, I mean. I'm trying to see what the, oh. I got this little thing to go to that little toy previous thing. I got some Coca-Cola 
chapsticks, you get three for a dollar. And I'm trying this Garnier Fruities uh, Matte and Messy Liquid Putty. So, smells good. Let me show you what it looks like. Smells really good. And he pushed me out the way. And you get 4.2 fluid ounces. Okay, let me hurry up because the shit show is about to begin. That's a salt. And then I got this little shadow box. Really nice product. Kind of like Hobby Lobby, but I mean, it's colorful. And I, this was $1. And I was going to put it on here some kind of way. Let me to go with I still had the lemons back there hiding in the cook but yeah and then I'll find somewhere else for this to go if we do like we'll do like that Yeah. Okay, so that's what this side of the cabinet's looking like. Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, Keela, coming at you, National Dub K. And we are getting ready to head to the doctor um, for well woman check. So it's a two week, it's a two visit. So for week one, I go and I take my lab work. That's just the only time they had, so. Well, no, you do that so that you can. So week one, so today I go and get my lab work. My appointment's at 940, it's 901. And I gotta go across town about 25 minutes. And then I like to just chill because if I'm rushing, it raises my blood pressure. But anyway, that's neither here or that, what? So yeah. Um, so yeah, well woman check. So make sure ladies that you are getting them every year, men, you as well. Our health is very important to us. Um, so just make sure you're going and getting checked out, right? Especially if you're paying for insurance. And even if you're not paying for insurance, um, we are our body's biggest advocate. So just make sure that you are treating it well and speaking up for yourself. Now treating it well means just noticing if, if they're in distress, you know, if your body's in distress. You know, because I don't put everything I'm supposed to put in my body, but I still go to the doctor too. So that's where I'm on my way to to go get my lab work. So this will be a quick appointment. Well, hope. Well, I don't know with the way they doing things now, and I got my mask. So, and then next Tuesday I'll come back and they'll give me the results for my lab work, and then I'll get my Pap smear as well. So. And I like to do that because, um, well, they do the lab work anyway, but it just makes sure you don't have any thyroids, high blood, I mean, diabetes and that type of stuff. Um, but then I want to actually get my checkup before I start keto as well. Um, because my doctor, he cool, 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 cool. I've been going to him ever since I was like 16 years old, I believe. And he's a family physician, Dr. Paul Davis. He's amazing. And he's actually Christian, so he actually, um, you know, talks to you, encourages you, um, you know. And and he also talks to me about different stuff, too, so I can ask him, what's your opinion on the election? He didn't like Obama. What's your opinion on Trump? He, I mean, he wasn't even for him either. He didn't seem too you know excited so I'm curious to go next weekend see what he thinking oh actually I won't even see him next week I won't even see him before the election because I don't know about y'all but I don't like the men I mean I don't like the men's doing my pap smear I mean I just feel some I don't know I just feel I know it's still medical but I kind of feel low key mental 
violated. So I always get a woman. I love Charlene, but they ain't letting her. I guess I was going to Charlene too damn much because they done took her off. She can't take nobody else. And because I'm comfortable with her, I've been going to her. I don't know. She's been doing me maybe about 10 years. My pants been about 10 years. And then, um, yeah, this, oh Lord, where I go, it is a lot of married couples like Dr. Hytrone and and his wife and Angela Liker and Mike Liker, whatever, their husband and wife. And then Dr. Davis used to work there with his son. But his son went on to do like um, healing waters, which is like plastic surgery type stuff. But anyway, that's enough about all that. I'm just rambling. So how y'all day been going today? I know I said that earlier in the vlog, but you know, I'm kind of all over the place. I'm trying to figure out, so where I live, I live at the last free exit, so I'm at the toll. So when you get on, you got the people that's coming in the town, you know, off the highway, just speeding and driving like a bat out of hell, like, uh, you are a guest with your flappy, uh, 60 day tag. You could have waited at home till you got your tags or taped it down. And that's a mess. Lord forgive me. But yeah. You know, ever since this whole George Floyd and Black Lives Matter, which we've been dealing with Black Lives Matter for quite a while. And I remember I took a speech class last year, public speaking class. And um, I was very controversial in, in the class. I was up in there acting a whole mess. So my job, they actually paid for classes for you. And I was like, okay, let me just go. Because that's one of the things that I actually fear doing my presentations. You know, I always be nervous. So it was good to uh, have the speech, the speech class. So, you know, every she would, we have to do a speech every Monday. Because it was a hybrid class, which means that they condense like 18 weeks or 16 weeks into eight weeks. So every week we was presenting a... Uh, a speech so my I mean baby I was tilting the balance like a mug honey people was in there talking about their dog and talking about all these games and he like heroes girl I've been here talking about my first speech was on teenage pregnancy I was a teenage mom my second speech was on what was my second speech on Oh, we had to do a demonstration speech. So I did a DIY project of some entertainment stuff, like platters. The third speech was on why, no, was it the third? Oh, marijuana, why marijuana should be legal. I don't know if that's the right order. I also did a speech on why black African-Americans are more likely to be killed by police officers. Mind you, this was last year. This was before George Floyd. I did that. Um, I did... We had to do a wedding speech. I kept them all because I just thought they were so dirty. Good, honey. Um, yeah, but anyway, I did several speeches. So, anyway... I was in there tilting the balance and everybody was up there getting about they dog, talking about they dogs like stupid. I mean, not stupid stuff, so I'm going to say that. But then that would make me more nervous and give me anxiety about getting up there because I knew my speech was deep. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, how are these people going to react to my deep speech and y'all up here talking about tornadoes and dogs and stuff? But anyway, bye bye. I did it. And I ended up getting at the end of the class the, uh, one, the, the, the award that she wrote out for me was most likely to solve the world's problems in one fireside, like under a campground. I want to talk about all the deep stuff. Yeah, it was pretty lit though. And and not, not only that, but it allowed me to self-educate myself. And that's how I learned a little bit more about how the Black Lives Matter movement got started. And so that's why I don't understand why people have bad things to say about Black Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? 
it's just whatever. We where I live at is the black owned barber school to go and paint this big old Black Lives mural with Trayvon Martin, George Floyd, just everybody, Brianna Taylor, and then he gonna get on the news talking about he don't support the Black Lives Matter, so he was gonna change a portion of it. I'm like, really? I can't with some people these days, but you know, I don't know. I guess they just think they just out stealing money, and that may be true. Some of them may be, but that's not all of them. You know, there's always some bad apples, whether it's your kids, whether it's your siblings. You know, it don't really matter. There's always going to be some bad people somewhere. But anywho, yeah. Y'all get me through this traffic, honey, because the speed limit is 50. I'm not going to go over 50. And because it's like 910, I am not in that big of a rush because I swat leave early. But these people flying through, honey. Yeah. And anyway, we got a lot of construction all the time. We're down to two lanes over here. But, and it don't really be back, back, backed up unless you're going west. This side be backed up on the weekends, but for the most part. But you can always get off and go to streets too if you want to. But, yeah. It's just so therapeutic talking to y'all. I feel like I could just tell y'all, you know. Oh my god, let it go. How many of y'all, when the traffic is going and it get ready to come to a complete stop, do you pop on your hazards so that people don't hit the back of your car? <laughs> I always pop on my hazards. Is he smoking and doing the. Well, I guess you could, you outside. He seems very unprofessional. But yeah, anyway, you guys, remember I told you. Yeah, I'm so behind on video, so I don't even know if y'all got it, but you will eventually get it. But I told you that I was kind of like struggling on my job, and like I had a bunch of new people, and you know, we were just trying to learn each other virtually, and I was kind of like, um, well, anyway, I actually met with my mentor, and he just gave me, he took me back old school. Yeah, I've been a leader for a long time, but like the simplest stuff that sometimes you get away from because the numbers are not where you want them to be, you know? And then just going, looping back and getting back there, like I was able to enjoy my vacation, came back and did it and killed it. So we're doing really well and um, yeah, I'm excited about that.
you guys. So I went to the doctor, went to Trader Joe's to get some acai, some granola, some peanut butter, and stopped at the Aldi's to get the fruit, so bananas and strawberries. And I got some bread. And now, I'm about to get ready to head home. Relax a little bit before I get my day started. My honey's already made the pan of spaghetti for tomorrow. I mean, for today, actually. So we don't even have to worry about dinner, honey. All we gotta do is pop that baby in the oven. And we good to go. So it's gonna be pretty easy peasy day. So I um, want to give a special shout out to the McCrazies. Um, she is so sweet. Like she's always commenting on my videos and yeah. So I'm going to see if I can get her channel link and put it in the, the description box below. So y'all can go and definitely support her um, as well. Um, because we just got to really be lifting each other up. Because when we're doing this YouTube thing, it's not always the easiest um, and it, you know, even though it relieves you and you get to talk and, you know, you're talking to yourself, but you're not talking to yourself because I'm talking to you. Um, but you know what I'm saying? So you get to relieve that. And so a lot of times it can be like if you do something like a cooking video, you want people to watch it or get some ideas from it. And so when you don't get that, it could be a little Debbie Downer for a hot second. But why is he always on this corner? asking for money. I ain't gonna even do that, Lord. And he got a piss bag, too. That just makes me even matter. He got a piss bag and a fake leg. So what? Uh, oh, that's not a fake leg. That's just a piss bag. But why do he feel he gotta show it like that, though? But I don't really know, you know. But God, I mean, the, my boo, the kids say he a crackhead. Mm -hmm. No, no. But I have no idea. But I just don't make no contact, honey. Vet need help. Something food, any kid, God bless something. Hey, you look like you was a handsome old man, too. Ain't you on a walker, too? God dang. You better fall for Jesus. Because he never leaves, honey. Lord, I ask you just bless him. Grant him whatever he's in need of, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to get this highway. I, I stumbled across the. Oh shoot! Who's calling me? Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I stumbled across the video. Somebody who was just kind of like going through Wichita, just traveling through, and he was all all this was showing. He was like, "They got a pretty nice highway system." I'm thinking, like, what? What does that mean? Like. Maybe he meant like it was a small one, you know, maybe the traffic was flowing. I don't really, but I'm gonna see if I can find his name. And he had a lot of followers too. I was like, dang, I wish I'd known that. But you could have stopped through here and let's do a lab, honey. Help this little woman grow her channel. And all he was doing was just riding through places. So and he was going all back in the places we don't go. We black folk don't go down off yonder. <laughs> where he was but he started down here by the mall he came off like by the mall well not a little bit before the mall like web road and then came on down past the mall and stuff and then he ended up still going kill out all the way out all the way out in the places that you, you know past greenwich and stuff past bays road like boy what you doing out there and had to get i think he got a tire or a windshield out there as well but Man, I guess that's just that old mentality. Like some places we just can't go, honey. But he had his tail gone. Because he had no clue where he was. 
I guess that's a good thing because of course there's no fear. But anyway, I'm on the fence. Like I really want to go see my sister. My birthday is November 13th and she want me to come out there. But as I continue to watch the news and to talk about this next six to 12 weeks, it's about to be the darkest ever for the pandemic. Like we finna lose more people than before. Like do I want to be on a plane breathing that recycled air? For two hours, total of four hours. Do I really want to do that? You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. I don't know about that one. So, I don't know. but then I don't want to be. Cause I ain't been nowhere all year. I mean nowhere, y'all. I ain't even went to the. Oh, I ain't went nowhere to the grocery store and home. That's it. And oh, my Aunt Tony said, you know, we do little bitty family things together, but none of us don't socialize outside of us. You know what I'm saying? Because we want to do everything that we can to keep us protected. So, yeah, that's where we at on that. But I'm kind of liking this car uh, thing. I'm just up in here yip, yip, yipping. Because usually, I have to call somebody on the phone because it just seems like it makes me get to where I need to go faster. Uh, it, it probably do because I ain't paying attention. But um, I just feel like I need to talk to somebody. And if I can get comfortable with doing this, damn. Yeah, so the McCrazies, actually I gotta go back and check and make sure she ain't posting that new so I can comment, you know, support her as well. Um, and then I also watch I Am Chelsea. I love her. And then I also, Miss Diva like is finally back posting. So I'm really excited about that. I've been following her for like, I don't know, 10 years. She was right when I first opened up my YouTube account. So I know it's been a minute. And I really love her blogs and stuff. But you know, what I've noticed, you know, just watching the videos and then people in my daily life, myself, like there's been like a switch right and so like I believe that because I'm I too deal with anxiety I've got you know more manageable now that I have identified what that is the enemy um, but there's a lot of people that's going through that and they just really don't know how to you know cope with it and so when I come across somebody with those, I love to give a word, uh, you know, something to help encourage them. Being that I was on that journey already before, so, I mean, that I've experienced that before. And I know that uh, Miss Eva like is also struggling with anxiety. Um, and it's just like when you are one of God's chosen children, you know, I thank God for choosing me every day. I thank you, Lord, for choosing me. You know, let that sink in. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for selecting me. Out of all of the people that are here on this world, you chose me. Right? And so, when you think about that, you can't do nothing but get happy about that. Like, hallelujah. But anyway. And so, because we are chosen, um, we are going to have long suffering. Long suffering, right? Um, but we have to be patient. We just gotta trust um, and uh, and know that He'll bring us through, right? And then when He does, <laughs> it's gonna we gonna be even better than when we went in. Like, huh? and and to know that you're coming through. You know what I'm saying? To know that you're gonna come out of that storm. Right? It's one thing to be up in here twirling, twirling, and twirling, and you don't know what's going to happen. But he told you that he's going to take care of us, and we're going to come through. Hallelujah. So that is where it makes these, this anxiety and all this attack, this spiritual warfare that we're actually going through. Because maybe when your light is the only light shining, and everybody running around here walking dead and dark. Girl, they're going to be popping at that light, trying to steal it, trying to grab it, trying to push it over. 
trying to put it in a headlock, trying to put it in a choke coat, right? Because it's the only light that's out there shining. So embrace it and just know that you could beat me down. My eyes may be black and blue, but know that I will look brand new. I'm coming out on the other side of this. So yeah, anyway, I'm just saying, sometimes I just start thinking about that and it just gets me overwhelmed. So. But now, so I'm coming back in. Like I told you, I'm the last free exit. Look, the way they got these birds built, uh, stacked up is for the birds. But anyway, we're gonna get on through here. Go over here. <laughs> I don't know, this video all over the place and if I don't do nothing else with it and throw it away, it make me feel good. But anyway, let me turn it on around just in case somebody want to try to find out where I live at. I know the world's crazy. But I've been doing really good staying off TikTok because it's something in that algorithm on TikTok that will have you, if you watch one video, then you'll have to watch uh, You'll be on that stuff for like two hours watching videos. So, yeah. And your eyes get to going all crossed and it's just a lot. But you can, so you have to set a timer when you get on there. Like 30 minutes, that's it. But um, there are some really good like TikTok hacks and stuff like that that you can find on there. That stuff be really working too, y'all. Like them pepper, them jalapeno peppers with the cream cheese and the Dorito Dynamites. Oh my heavens. Or the um, bell peppers with the cream cheese and the everything bagel season. That is so good. Like, or the pancake or the the cinnamon roll waffles. You take a cinnamon roll, put it in the waffle maker, and it makes a waffle. Like, what in the world? Um, what else have I tried on there? And I don't even like waffles, but I'll eat them waffles. Um, and then, you know, just like how to, like sweaters. Like, you know how in the winter, sweaters, sometimes they snag depending on the type of sweater they are. And I used to cut the the string, which eventually opens up the sweater. So, but anyway, you could fish it through underneath and tie it. TikTok. And then President Trump's old dusty red orange tail ass wanted to delete it. Why? Because it's very informative. You know, people have their own opinions. People are very brutal on there. So let me tell you that. I argued with this man. Well, he was really arguing with me. I The only thing I kept saying was ignoring bad behavior. He kept on commenting, commenting. It went on for like two hours. And all I kept saying was ignoring bad behavior. Like, because I'm not going to play with you. I am ignoring your bad behavior. Leave me alone. Everybody's entitled. If I want to say Biden 2020, I can say Biden 2020. I got two big Biden three by seven flags that I'm debating if I want to put them, plaster them up in my yard or not. You know, because these old, I mean, these older people here, this is a, Kansas is a Republican state, period. It ain't no lean, it ain't no other. It's always been. And these people live over here in the trashiest places. And even the people over here at the back with the Biden sign and the little duplex things got a, I said Biden sign, I'm sorry, with the, got a Trump sign. Like, where well, y'all living in a twin home? <laughs> you ain't even got a whole home. You got a half a home. And you, and you all have a sign, Trump 2020. If you don't get out of here, half a home ass. But anyway, enough about me. So I at Let's Kiki. So, so I'm about to pull on up in this garage. So it's about to get dark. So I'll holler at you later. Thanks so much for watching. It's your girl Keila coming at you. I enjoy just rambling off with y'all. Um, yeah, just yap, yap, yap. And I didn't care if anybody was looking or not. So I feel really good about it. So I'm about to go in here and release it and get my little groceries out. Oh, I went to Trader Joe's. I told you that. And I got me some more of them ginger snaps. Them, uh, God dang, them ginger snaps is good.
I already always like ginger snaps, but I was watching one of Chelsea's vlogs a couple weeks ago, and she was like, y'all, these ginger snaps from Trader Joe's is good, so we just so happened to go in there a couple weeks ago, and I got them, baby. Why did I eat that whole container in like three days? The kids don't like them. And they have cr crystallized ginger in it. Oh my God, heavens on earth. I got heaven right here on earth. I got heaven right here on earth. I got heaven right here on earth. But anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's your girl, Kiba, coming at you naturally, Dev K. I appreciate your support. And stay tuned for the next video. Peace.